This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, Unit 5, Building Apps, Lesson 11, Wall Loops, Puzzle 18. Introducing plus equals and minus equals operators. Sometimes you want to add or subtract something other than 1 from the current value or of a variable. If you wanted to add or subtract 3, for example, such as count equals count plus 3 or count equals count minus 3, Plus plus and minus minus wouldn't help because they only do one. Uh, it turns out it's pretty common as well so that there is actually shorthand version of count equals count plus three. Introducing plus equals and minus equals. But these are super common, not as common as plus plus in programming, but common. We can use plus equals minus equals operator to add or subtract any value we want to the current value of a variable. So the shorthand version of count equals count plus 3 and count equals count minus 3 would be count plus equals 3 count minus equals 3. Notice that these notice that these statements count equals count plus 1 count plus plus count and count plus equals 1 do exactly the same thing. Which one you use as a programmer is your choice. In the future you can use either version but try out the new operator here. I will tell you that count plus plus or x plus plus or i plus plus um, in terms of just iterating through things in terms of certain loops that is very 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 widely used as opposed to this honestly this operator i don't use as much um, sometimes i don't even use it but this is pretty universal not universal though it doesn't have to be used all right do this change the code to use count plus equals three instead of count equals count plus three so the program can still count up by three this seems easy enough all right let's see but uh and it works awesome let's uh keep going